Alrighty guys, this is Slugs on Blitz, and I'm back with part 11 in my series of how to stop being a noob. And this one was the toughest to make of the series. It's also maybe one of the most important, and that is the concept of offense versus defense. I've got four games on tap for you, two played defensively and two played offensively, to show you the difference between the two styles. Playing offensively is a lot of fun, it's crazy and wild. Your job is to force mistakes. However, pros will make you pay. The easier way to play is defensively, but in that case, you're waiting for mistakes. It keeps you alive longer, but if your teammates move in and you just sit there, you're not gonna be much help. So you've got to adjust depending on what happens on the battlefield. And I see a lot of noobs not understanding that concept or not understanding how to use their tanks effectively they're being too defensive when they could be more aggressive, or too aggressive when they should be more defensive. So I hope you're going to learn a lot from this video. If you do, consider giving this video a like, maybe subscribe to the channel. Of course, if you want to become a Patreon, great, I'll help you become a better tanker. And let's get to it, shall we? So the first game we're going to play defensively. They've got a Keeler, an ISU, a 53 TP, a 252. Wow, and a T-77, they have got a stacked team. But our team is no slouch either. We've got a CC-64, Charlemagne, a Progetto, T-49. Balanced teams, if you ask me. Now, I'm a tank destroyer, but a relatively fast tank destroyer. So what I'm going to do is take one of my favorite spots somewhere along this ridge here. Why do I choose this position? Because I can cover both sides. If the mediums get pushed on, I can help them. If the heavy tanks get pushed on, I can help them. I think it's a very, very powerful position to be in, and it's hard to get lit up, except if the mediums spot you in the center there. So let's hope that doesn't happen. And we have our first contender, who's behind cover. So I'm just gonna wait, wait, and... Yeah, nice, easy shot there. We've got two tanks at A, and they haven't spotted anybody. Okay. He's gonna do a quick spot, I think, the Progetto, I believe that is. T-49 takes one hit. Okay, takes two hits, three hits. He's gonna move. No, he's not. He's gonna sit there. Genius. Three hits, four. There we go. He's gone. Well, wow. Now that was a pro move, man. Skill. I was like, wow. Okay, whatever. Okay. Uh, let's see if I can even the game up. Thankfully, the Vegeta didn't take any hits. And we're gonna need him because if he goes down, we're in a lot of trouble as we won't be able to spot the hill. All our tanks are sitting up there. Their Pajetto's over there. I'd love to take him out. Our heavy tanks are sitting far back. Uh, but thankfully I have some targets. Can I punish this guy? I can indeed, that's nice. I haven't been spotted, so I can just keep on firing away. Can I hit this guy? This is a tough shot. Oh, dang it, hit the rock. Well, that's unfortunate, but the SU's dog meat. He's in a horrible position. Flat ground. Uh, yeah, been lit up. He's gone. There you go. So that shot redeems my miss a second ago. Okay, guys. Could we maybe spot Charlemagne? Got plenty of health. Okay, Progetto's doing a good job over there. Guys, could we maybe punish them? They're focusing the hill. Come on, I'm trying to hit this guy. Who knows if that connected or not. But thankfully... Their Pajetto is almost dead. And our Pajetto's doing a good job over there. But our heavy tanks are refusing to spot. They're refusing to do pretty much anything. They're just sitting back and waiting. And that's not their job. Their job is to push forward and not charge their death, but you know, let us know where the enemy tanks are so we can help them out. Finally, Charlemagne decides to... Oh, um, so I said good job, Pajetto, and I get... Well, a very nice comment. Wow, gee, thanks. Okay. Bounce that, but I did damage his track. With any luck, we'll be able to stop him in his tracks. Guys, you can hit him. Okay, I'll hit him. There we go. His tracks in all sorts of trouble now. Can I hit this shot? Aiming in, aiming in, aiming in. I'm invisible. He's invisible. Did I hit it? Who knows? 6v4. This is pretty easy. I mean, we've got a ton of hit points. So just push on in there, guys. Go ahead. Okay, I'll take care of that guy for you if you need help. Goodness me. 6v3. I think it's time to make my move. Our CC64 sitting in the back. 
I mean, he is a, a tank destroyer officially, but oh, goodness me, no. I'm gonna swing around here. Can I do some more damage? Where are you doing 2,000 damage? That's pretty solid in a tier A tank. I'm gonna swing around here. I'm gonna deal with the T-77. I don't care if I take a hit. I don't care if I take two hits. One would be better. Hello, and aiming in, aiming in. One shot, nice. And here comes a Pajetto. So I've done 2,600 damage. That's a pretty solid game in my book. Took one hit the entire game. Didn't get lit up until the end there. Yeah, easy peasy. That's defensive gameplay. However, uh, I guess one or two of my blind shots landed, so 3,278. Top of the leaderboard, nicely done. Charlemagne, uh, okay, but could have taken a hit or spotted. Would be nice. CC 64. Maybe you could do something else. Anyway, moving on to our next game. They have an action X Louva. Mm, a smasher. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. We have a Skoda, a K2, a Vickers. Okay. We've got some nice heavy tanks in the Skoda and K2. They should work well together. I'm just going to try and support them. But you know what I think? Eh, screw it. I've got gun depression. I'll work with this guy. So let's go. Offensive time. Okie dokie. This guy's got armor. I'll give him a little bit of a nudge. I've got two targets there. Okay. Here's this guy. Can I whack him? Nice shot. But our Skoda seems a little bit timid. Wow, so lots of targets to choose from. Aiming in. Easy shot. Nice. And didn't take any damage in return. Skoda. Not bad. Skoda, go ahead. Intimidate them. Scare them. K2. Oh, you're here too. Nice. Okay, I'll swing around back here. And, uh... Hmm, maybe go the mid section because they're dealing with that area there. Too many tanks in one area is not a good look. Here comes Mr. Hazard. He took one hit already. Let me see if I can punish him again. And I can indeed. So, two shots in. I've done a thousand damage already. First minute of the game. That's not bad for the first minute of the game. And this guy's swinging around. We should be able to get rid of this guy in seconds. Come on, Skoda. Unfortunately, Skoda bounces, takes a hit, and. I don't know why he's scared. K2, get in there. Okay, I'll hit him. I'll hit him. Hit him. Let's go to. Let's go to K2. Let's go to K2. Come on. Come on. Hit him. Hit him. Hit him. Guys, hit him. Okay, I'll hit him. Okay. Guys, you're two super heavy tanks, pretty much. Hit him. Hit. We gotta get rid of this guy quickly, because otherwise we're gonna get trapped down here. And they'll just surround us and pick us off from. Uh, elevated positions. Uh, this guy's terrible position. I'll take a hit. Come on, guys. Have some courage. K2, get in there. Come on, bud. You got. Oh, no. Oh, he's scared. Is he scared? Uh, yeah, he's scared. He can bounce the AT7 all day long. But they're coming around the rear. And this is not good. I'm gonna take a hit here. Uh, ouch. But at least I kept our teammate alive, and I'm gonna swing here and see if I can get him backing up. But, oh goodness me. Where are two super heavy tanks? Nowhere to be found. I don't know. Okay, I'm gonna charge around here, go around his rear. He's looking at somebody else. Uh, boom, nice shot in there, and I'm gonna run off. Because, oh, no. Well, I'm considering it. Uh, but. Okay, now I'm going to run off because this guy's coming back. I can hopefully get out of here. Run away, run away, run away. And now I'm going to go up the hill and hopefully do some damage from an invisible spot as they'll be distracted by all those tanks down there. Okay. It's 2v5, no big deal. Let's finish him off, guys. Come on. T-49, come on. Finish him off. There's four guns there, guys. Four of us. I'll hit this guy. Guys, come on. T-49. He's right there. Oh, come on. Okay, I'll finish him off. I'll finish the dear lord. Goodness me. So, K2 and Skoda 
No, 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 and no, don't do that. And if you're gonna do that, push hard and heavy, take out the Luva in three seconds flat. The two of you versus one Luva was not a threat at all. But, yeah, they didn't know what they're doing, so they just bounced and missed, and I don't know what happened, so. Yep, 3,000 and change. Pretty solid game, uh, offensively. Play. So I enjoyed that, but it was also a little bit stressful considering the K2 and Skoda were not really doing what I think they should have been doing. Okay, back to defensive playstyle. Uh, they've got a Shark, which is a problem, a T28 Defender, also deadly, a K2, mm, and a Scorpion. We have a Chimera, that's good news. We have a K2, that's good news. Uh, we have an E25, not the best tier 7, although it can be sneaky. Um, he's going to go into that position. And unfortunately, I'm going to get a doorbell here. So I have to step away right about now. Okay, when will I come back? Hopefully soon, because my team might need me. My buddy's there. He's full health. Oh, I've got a tire too. He's pushing up. That's nice. But you can't see what's happening off camera here. Can I hit this guy? I want to punish him. Nope, ricochet. As you can see, that, uh, oh dear lord. So, our K2 blocked the retreat of my buddy. He was just trying to back on up to get away from the guns and unfortunately got absolutely wrecked because the K2 blocked him. And he's done nothing. So my buddy's a one-shot. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. He's not happy. <laughs> and I don't blame him. K2, they're heavy tank. Can you be a heavy? Could you maybe use your armor? Hit points? Intimidate them. I'm going to swing over here and support them from distance. Because, yeah, we don't have many hit points between the two of us. Uh, I'm going to aim in here. Can I hit him? It's a tough shot, but he's turned his turret. Yes, nice shot in there. But someone's getting a cap. And I'm afraid he, that guy might get some ideas to push on my butt. So I'm going to head over there and support him. I can take two hits probably from most tanks. Maybe three. Don't know what's over there, but I do know what's over here. So I'm hoping the two of us can work our magic. If this guy's alone, maybe we can uh, take him out. Let's find out who he is first. Tell my buddy, back on up. Just stay hidden. You're a one-shot. Let me take a hit or two. Don't want to take a hit, but okay. Team's doing well over there. Let's find out who's here at CCAP. Are they still here? Ah, it's Mr. K2. So can I pop him one? Dookie. And my buddy goes down in ball flames. Ouch. Not great news. That's a shame. Uh, if he just stayed back a little bit more, it would have been nice, but, you yeah, know, it happens. K2 is not at the best an angle. However, he's going for my teammate, so he's gone. We've lost two tanks over here. We lost three tanks in total. We're in a lot of trouble. This guy can absolutely shred me. Um, don't think I can avoid this, so I'm just going to take it. Who cares? And I'm going to swing over this way because I see that someone is actually coming around to help me out. Uh, it's the E25, actually. Come on, help me out. Help me out. Oh, that's unfortunate. But good job, E25. Now it's 4v4. I'm a one-shot. Our E25 is not looking too healthy either. You might think he's got enough hit points, but that can be vaporized in a very short period of time. And our K2, plenty of hit points. Hiding like... Oh, a total coward. So I'm creating distance. I'm going to let him do everything for us in a sense that he should spot. He should be the target. He should take the hits. And it looks like they know where he is. E25. Oh, watch the shot. Here we go. Boom. We go. So Scorpion, big mistake there. And the E25 is doing a great job. He's going to stay invisible, use that great camo, and he's going to pick these guys to pieces, as am I. K2 is, well, just our meat shield. He's a distraction. Nice shot in there. And this guy is now one shot. I'm going to back on down here and wait. And somebody fired this way, so I think that was the um, shark. So, nice try. Would have killed me. E25, great job. And now it's 3v2. Can I hit this shot? This is a tough shot. Hit me in. Ah, I wanted that. 
and he's a one shot now, and he's gone. So amazingly, from what looked to be an absolute disaster, my buddy taking all those hits in the beginning, um, him dying when he went against the K2, our K2 doing nothing that was of any value to our team, we were able to pull that out because I played defensively. So did the E25. Um, yeah, did not see us winning that, but we did. Only 2,300 this game, but from where we were at, I think that's a pretty good game. E25 and Chimera, great job. Much respect to you. K2, frick no. And our last game, and this one I'm going to play offensively. So they have a Borsig and AT15, two slowish tanks. They have a Tiger 2, we have a Charlemagne, IS3, Tiger 2. Um, I don't think they're going to go the medium side. So I'm going to gamble a little bit if I don't get lit up. Let's see what happens. This guy should do some spotting. That's great. So I'm going to use my speed boost and get over there ASAP. If he gets lit up, I'll know just to sit on back. But if he doesn't get lit up, as he's going pretty fast and taking quite an aggressive position, means there's no one here. That's great news. That tells me I can pretty much cross in peace. Yep, there we go. Straight across. No problem. They're getting C camp. And we're getting B and D. Lovely stuff. So I'm going to put pressure on them right away. They're A cap as well. That gives me more hope. Look at that, how many red tanks are over there. Probably no one's here. Fingers crossed. No one is. Fabulous. Okay, I'm going to swing over here. I think they're all over there. Uh, but maybe someone's AFK, so I'm just going to charge in and see what happens. Nobody yet. Nothing. Nothing. And uh, come on. Any AFKers? They're probably over here. Uh, dum -de dum -de dum -de dum and what's this? My little red arrow popped up in front of me. So time to um, hash that guy. That's a nice shot. And uh, I've got good speed traverse, yes. Uh, I'd probably take one hit here, but he's all by his lonesome. That was unfortunate for him. I'll take one hit, but that's totally worth it for me because now we've gotten rid of one of their invisible threats. Again, I'm going to continue on, and I'm pincering them in. We know where they are now. They're all trapped in this little area of the map. Map control is key. That guy's not looking at me, nowhere near me. Popping up behind this guy. Could have gone for the other guy. Didn't really make a difference. Easy shot on the AMX. Uh, I could have used hash, I suppose. I'll pop out here, another shot, boom. I'll take a hit for my trouble, because now he's close to one shot. Not dead yet. I'm not looking too healthy, but... Eh, screw it. We're doing well. Okay, another shot. I take a hit. He takes a hit. And now we're both one shots. So I could die here. But what the hell? Well, I think I did my job a decent amount of damage using gravity and popping down. Yeah, that little ridge. And I just swung on down. Uh, allowed me to get a little bit of a speed boost. Um, artificial speed boost, I guess you could say. And now I'm just charging on in. Will I survive? Probably not, but who cares? We've got this in the bag. This is your time to shine when you're up 6-2. Test that, I'm oh, sorry, 7-2. Test out what a tank can do. Scorpion's probably over here. Yep, there he is. Uh, let's see if I can whack him. Oh, come on, hash, 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 hit that. Oh, I've hit the freaking tracks. That's not what I wanted. Yeah, I'm going to duck down low. He's coming for me. I can see it. Oh, oh no, he's not. Is he? It looks like he's, uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. Oh, nice shot in there. And, oh, yeah. Couldn't get away from him, I figured. But, there you go. Offensively. There you go. If you can understand when to play offensively and when to play defensively, you will win a lot more games. If you play every game defensively, or every game offensively, you're probably not going to do that well. Some games, your team is pushing in. If you push in with them, you're going to win. But if you let just one or two tanks push in by themselves, they're going to get wrecked, and now you're at a huge disadvantage. Other games, if you push in, you're going to get wrecked because they're set up in great positions. You'll get shredded. Instead, you want to let them get out of their good positions, their hull-down positions or camo positions. And by moving, of course, their camo isn't active. So you have an advantage sitting at the back, not moving, because you can get a few cheap, easy shots as they move in for the kill. I think most players either play one way or the other. I adjust based on the lineups, 
based on the players I have on my team, on, on the enemy team, on the maps we're in, the tank I'm using. It comes with experience and practice. I hope this channel is teaching you both ways. Anyway, that's all I got for you today. Hope you enjoyed today's video. I'll see you tomorrow. Snugs and Blitz, out.